How to add a back to top button to your Squarespace website. Now in this video, I'm going to show you everything that you need to know in order to add a back to top button to your Squarespace website. Okay, so to do this, the first thing that you want to do is go to the first link in the description of this video. Go ahead and open this up and it will take you over to this website right here called Elfsite. Now, this is the tool that we are going to use in order to add this back to top button. The awesome thing about Elfsite is that you can get started for free. So all you need to do is enter your email in here, click on start, and then you will be able to go through and create your Elfsite account. Once you have done that, once you have signed up for Elfsite, all we then need to do is click on widgets at the top. It's going to take us over to the widgets area and you can effectively scroll through and see all of the widgets that you can use. And there is a lot of these. However, we are specifically looking for back to top. So if you just go to the search bar, search for back to top, you will see it pop up. All we need to do from here is click into it. And then if we scroll down, you can see we have a few different options of the button that we would like to choose. So there's a few different options here. Uh, I'm just going to go for this one. I think it looks the best. And then once your template has been chosen, click on continue. We can then edit all of this. We can change like the icon that you can upload from your computer. You can change the text right here. You can change the button color. You can change the button text, just like that. Um, let me just reverse this to how it was before. Okay. Once that is done, you can also change like the radius of like the circle, how big this is and everything like that. Once that is done and you have customized this and effectively it looks how you want it to look, what we can then do is click on add to website for free. From here, it's then going to save the widget and bring up like a final view of how this is going to look. And if you're happy with this, click on publish. It's then going to ask you to choose a plan. Now the plan that you go for would depend on how many monthly website views your website or even your client's website gets. However, if you want to try this out for free, just see how Elfsight works, there's also a free plan. Once you have selected your plan, you will be taken to this screen where it gives us this piece of code. And from here, it is literally just copy and paste. So all we need to do is click on copy, go back over to Squarespace, and then enter the editor. Now, you can effectively add this wherever you want. All we need to do is click on add block. From these options, click on code and then it loads in this square that says hello world. So move this effectively wherever you want to move it on your website, double click, and then all we have to do is delete this code and paste in what we just copied. Now, as you can see, we do get this button, but it also gives us this little block that looks ugly and says embed script. Don't worry, this is only ever going to show up in the editor. On the actual website, and as soon as we exit out of the editor, you can see that that is going to disappear. If we go back into the editor, it will reappear. So just like that, you can see the top button remains. Let's just test this out. Just like that. And that is how you can add a back to top button on Squarespace. 